no, no matter how much I wish for 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 AI to really think and 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 be able to have a conversation with it, no matter how much I would like to to do that, people would like to do that. This is what people are expecting. You cannot do it. And and doing this video, you know, I'm thinking about it, like, and I kind of know, but I like, I, you know, I put it together. So when you hear people hyping up AI and saying all the things that AI is going to take over the world and AI is going to be impossible and it's going to know it's going to be smarter than us, you don't know what you're saying. Okay, this is what's really happening. When you are talking to the AI on the computer, okay, and this is why you cannot have a dialogue or a debate with it because this is what's really happening. Okay, when you when you ask something to the AI, the only thing the AI is doing is going to its database, right? Information that got from the web and reading it and presenting that information to you and comparing, you know, if it has different things, 10 things to compare, it will compare, and but it, it has an answer already a predefined answer. So it is like you going to, let's say, Wikipedia and trying to change what's written in Wikipedia. You can't. You have to get permission and do whatever. Or you go to somebody's website or company website and you try to change what they wrote. What they wrote, you're trying to change it. This is the same thing that happens when you're trying to have, if you try to have a debate with AI, because the people who designed this did not give it this flexibility. And, you know, as an informational source, it's good as an informational source in the sense that it's fast, that you could get, like, you know, instead of searching through Google for a bunch of, reading a bunch of articles, AI will, will give you a specific information that you're looking for. And it could, yes, it could present information, it could write a book, it could, you know, do all those things because you could put sentences together by, you know, by using that algorithm. But you cannot change, you cannot change the information that he has because the people who design it, I guess they didn't think about that. Maybe they don't want it like that. If I design an AI, I would try to design it with logic. Now I have, to, I guess I have to start thinking about that. Trying to debate with an AI, trying to do that is a waste of time. It will not change. It cannot change the information that it already has. It was trained with that information. So that's what happens. That's what's happening here. It has zero flexibility. And, you know, that makes me think how, how this thing with AI is so flawed. It's so flawed because the person who's training, who's training, and you know, you know that in AI, right? I think it, one of the first things I started to do with AI was character uh, image recognition, you know, to see an image and, and to be able to, to recognize what the image is. And I know how it works because I've I done AI, I know how it works. And the way, the basically, the way it works is they present the image and the image is broken up into millions of bits and then this is like the input the image is here is the input to the AI and then at the output let's say it has three outputs right let's say it has a cat a dog and a mouse so what they do is they adjust the weights of these inputs here they adjust it like randomly it starts randomly and then they start using all these mathematical formulas to eliminate error uh, and eventually eventually when it hits the right uh, the right output, then that's it. So it's trained. Now it's trained by you know by selecting all those all those weights. Eventually, that's why it takes so much time and computational power to train the AI. It knows now that that's that that's, that this is cat. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. It's just it's a mathematical formula and nothing else that selects if the image is a cat and they and they want the output to be a cat. When it reaches cat, that they use those weights, they have to use those weights for the cat. And then if, if it's a mouse, and then they use different weights until it until it, it reaches like I guess 95%, and then it's the mouse. Then it chooses the mouse. So this this system is still very crude, but very like raw, very raw. 
And of course, you know that that, that makes the people who are working in I, of course, they 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 get from here, they get more ideas and more ideas, and and, and they're gonna know like maybe even in 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 a month from now they're gonna say oh this is like this is absurd this is stupid and then in in ten months from now they're gonna have completely different I have my own ideas I have my own ideas for AI and uh, uh, the way they use it now I personally think it's not the right way to do it it's not the right way to 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 train AI but that's my sick but this is what happens. So this is why when you're talking to the AI, it was already, it has those weights, it's trained on that. If it's trained to put this word after this word and after this word, and then maybe a couple of other combinations, that's all it's going to do. It is not going to, to say, oh, let me go study something else, or let me go here, or let me compare, or let me talk to this, let me look at this person, let me see their first. It, it, it doesn't do that. It, it, the AI does not do that. It, it's not learning. It's really not learning. It's not something that is learning. It's something that is being trained. Uh, it has no, no, of course, no feelings, no consciousness, no intelligence. It does. The AI cannot even know something. It doesn't know anything. It's just program running in a computer. And so, you know, I, you know, when ChatGPT came out, you know, I said, "Well, this is great because this was a big step forward from every from anything else." ChatGPT really was in the sense that you know, it could write sentences, it could write paragraphs, and it could do a lot of things that before it's like a tool, like you know, like before the computer or whatever, you know, before it was a typewriter and the, the computer. So in that sense, it's a big. It's a big, in that sense, it's a big advancement, but got a long way to go, to, a long way to go, even just to to try to mimic logical, logical thinking, because it's nowhere near, nowhere near uh, logical, logical, uh, or any kind of reasoning for that matter. So I was trying to, to have a little debate, but you know, and I know, but I just wanted to do it to see, you know, like, and I, right away I realized that it's just reading. It's just, it, it, it's, it's not, it's not even trying. It's just reading what's under, you know, what was fed to it from pages of the internet. Somebody wrote something in the AI, and then they they give it all this volume information. I guess they tell it to train it that if this this value of information is more than this volume, then believe this volume. And this is what they're doing with uh, Christianity. They, you know, they train the AI on, um, on the Trinity. You cannot talk to it because when you're talking to it there, it's like, it's like you're talking to a programmed Christian. That's what he's going to repeat. And you see right there, I just had the, the thought. That's what he's going to repeat. That's what happens when you... When you become a fanatic, a religious fanatic, this is exactly what is happening. You're thinking like the AI and you don't get out of, you know, you have to get out of your program and say, okay, let me see what you're saying. Let me, throw, let me, let me, you know, like being, like, I guess that's the, the, the phrase open-minded. Let me see what you're saying. Let me try to understand what you're saying, right? So, Let's take the example of Jesus. Back then, the ignorance level was very high, very high. And Jesus was talking about things that they did not understand. So supposedly they kill him because they're saying like, what are you saying? And many people, not, not like Jesus, Jesus is a unique, very unique man. But many people like Jesus throughout history have come along and they have been ridiculed. They have been, you know, even scientists and things like that. And we all, you know, I learned too from that. You know, I've been in, I've been in those positions that no, this is what it is. You cannot change it, whatever, you know. So it is very important. It's very important to be, and it is even better. It is even better to hear what somebody has to say. Let them, let them say, let them empty themselves. It's better for you. It's better for you, you know. So you could have all the information to compare. Uh, but, you know, having, and the way 
And the way that these people from ChatGPT have it, like I was just having a conversation and then at the end, when it gets into the point that doesn't know, it's just maybe they have a timing on it and it says, yo, you're being disrespectful. You saw, you're going to see the video. I wasn't being disrespectful. You know, I wasn't cursing or, or saying you're stupid or anything like that. The, at least the people, I mean, these people are these people are supposed to be intelligent. First of all, these people are supposed to be, I'm assuming that these people that did this uh, uh, open AI, that they're atheists. They're, supp they're supposed to be the most open-minded and liberal-minded thinking people, right? The atheists, you're supposed to be the top of the, no, you're not. Because this system that you design is, you don't even believe in God, probably the people that, and you program this thing to defend the Trinity. No, you just say this, you just have it, you should have it say, well, this is this faith, this faith says this, and this other faith say that. But don't have the AI try to argue like you should have it respond in a different way don't try to have it to argue like if it knows that that's the answer like the ai is telling me no this is this is the trinity and this is what it is and repeating blah 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 that is ignorance that is ignorance to do that so i don't know why they i don't know why they they would do that with the uh with the ai i guess maybe because it's i mean i wouldn't know i wouldn't know that in that way but i guess maybe it's too new for them or these people you know this uh, not to, for lack of a better word that I have this this geek minded people that are really in their own world and you know that's how they think that's how they think and you know if I had the time uh, if I had the time and the, and the money I, I would do I would do this completely different but anyway do not try to have a debate with an AI. It's like you going to Google and having a debate with something that somebody wrote, right? You can't. You have to. You have. You have to call the person or email the person and have a debate with them. And then if you convince them, then they will change the information. But the the people that did the 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 AI shouldn't have the AI responding in this way. They should they should be honest and say this AI is responding this way because he has this is. This is is, is is presenting is presenting this information. This information presents this, okay, and then this other information presents something else. But don't make it sound like it, you know, like the the AI is insulting me because it's saying something. First of all, I, I got it in a bunch of errors that is saying things that are not true because those things the people who, who the people who the people who wrote uh, op, uh, Chat GPT. They don't know about every subject in the world. They're they're they know how to do AI. They don't know anything about probably Christianity or Judaism or engineer or or medicine or anything like that. So you cannot have an AI pretending that that's the answer. That that is the answer because they don't know. They don't know what somebody wrote. They don't know like 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 when the thing with COVID or you know having the AI say no this is what you know this is what the CBDC says or whatever the hell the name is the WHO you know how could you do that how could you present information as of the, as as if this is some kind of authority it's not it's not because you're not an authority on everything on earth or every, every subject or anything so you should have the ai present information like like when you see it on google but don't 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 make a sound as if that's the final answer because it's not it, it is not uh so ai has got a long way even to even to 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 have a a, 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 a simple basic debate with somebody the way it's programmed is no good it's no good and i understand I understand this is this is the beginning, but it's no good. It's no good. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say about the AI. And I'm gonna post the video. I did the video for this, trying to have the debate with AI. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go through the video and I'm gonna point out everything the AI said, which is not the AI. This is what Christianity wrote, and they fed this to the AI. Okay, well, this is what the Trinitarians um uh, what the Trinitarians wrote. And they fed this garbage to the AI. So the AI is going to repeat garbage. One thing I noticed years ago, years ago, I noticed that 
And if you do it now, you'll notice it too. If you go on the computer, right? You're typing, you're typing, you know, in a word process or any way you're typing, and you type the word Holy Spirit, it will capitalize Holy Spirit. I mean, like, who the hell does that? Why would Microsoft do that? I believe it's because Microsoft was influenced by the Catholic Church. So they say, oh, we got to capitalize this. If you type the word Satan, they will capitalize the S. That is ignorance to do something like that. If I had a computer company, I would not do that. I said, no, you do that if you want to do that, because that's a belief. That's somebody's belief that you know nothing about. So there's a lot of ignorance in the world, a lot of ignorance. Uh, you go, you know, you go to the internet, you you read something. You better make sure you, you know you test it and double test it and do your own research. If it's something important that you know that you that you have to rely on, because a lot of people are writing a lot of garbage, a lot of garbage. And then they worry about fact checking and all that garbage. You just you, you fact check your things first. Fact check your stuff because it's garbage. It's garbage. Anyway, so that's it. Let me not continue this. It's getting late. So watch the video. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> 